Director of Casino Operations for River Spirit Casino and Resort. Uh, it's my honor this morning to, to welcome you, first of all, to the Muskogee Creek Nation, to the River Spirit Casino Resort, and uh, historically to this piece of property that is known as the Mackey Sandbar or the Mackey Site. Uh, it was on this property many, many years ago that uh, a legal battle ensued with the United States of America on the right to uh, do electronic gaming. And so in a landmark decision that ended up in the Tenth Circuit United States Court of Appeals, uh, the Creek Nation prevailed and that was the turning point when you saw Indian bingo halls go away and Indian casinos start all across the country. So welcome, welcome to the Muskogee Creek Nation. Now before we begin our formal remarks, it's my honor to introduce a lot of our special guests that we have today, and we do have a lot. So uh, uh, beginning with the individuals joining me here at the, at the podium, please hold your applause until we introduce all of them, if you would. Speaker of the Muscogee Creek Nation's National Council, the Honorable Lucian Tiger III, please stand and be recognized, if you would. Second Speaker of the National Council, the Honorable David Hill. Chair of the Oversight Committee and member of the National Council, the Honorable Robert Huft. Second Chief of the Muscogee Creek Nation, the Honorable Lewis Hicks. The Honorable Dewey Bartman, D Bartlett, Mayor of the City of Tulsa. Representing the Office of Governor Mary Fallon, who unfortunately is out of state on business, we have uh, in her cabinet, Secretary of State and Liaison for Native American Affairs, Chris Binge. Principal Chief of the Muscogee Creek Nation, the Honorable James Floyd. Chief Executive Officer of the Muscogee Creek Nation Casinos, Pat Crofts. Chief Executive Officer of Margaritaville Holdings, John Colan. Chief Executive Officer of the Tulsa Regional Chamber and its organizations, Visit Tulsa, Tulsa Sports Commission, and Tulsa's Future, Mike Neal. Chief Operating Officer of the Muscogee Creek Nation Casinos, Andy Langston the Honorable Karen Keith, Tulsa County Commissioner. Thank you for joining us today. As I mentioned, we have numerous dignitaries. I'd like to introduce a few more that we have in the house. And again, please hold your applause. Please stand to be recognized. Uh, our former principal chiefs of the Muscogee Creek Nation, Bill Fife, A.D. Ellis, and Chief George Tiger. Members of the Muscogee Creek Nation Council, please stand and be recognized. Joining already announced Lucian Tiger, David Hill, and Robert Huff are the Honorable Del Beaver, Dodie Barnett, James Jennings, Daryl Proctor, Rufus Scott, Adam Jones III, Thomas Yehola, Pete Beaver, Joyce C. Deer, Randall Hicks, Johnny Green, Mitch Jack, and Mark Randolph. Thank you very much for being here. We're also very thankful for the attendees from our other great nations of Oklahoma. Uh, please stand to be recognized, Principal Chief Leonard Harjo of the Great Seminole Nation. Chief Harjo, thank you for being here today. Also with us today, Tulsa City Council, including Mayor-elect G.T. Bynum, Chair, uh, Council Chair Jeannie Q, and Councilors Phil Lakin, Karen Gilbert, Anna America, Jack Henderson, David Patrick, Blake Ewing, and Connie Dodson, welcome. Joining Tulsa County Commissioner Karen Keith, our commissioners Ron Peters and John Smolago. Thank you for being here. From the state of Oklahoma, Representatives Glenn Mulready and also Representative Dan Kirby. Representing the federal office of Congressman Jim Bridenstine is Brian O'Hara. Many of our surrounding communities are also represented today, including our neighbor across the river, the city of Jinx, Mayor Kelly Dunkerley, and, and city council members. And finally, representing the extremely valuable tourism industry and our partners, President of Visit Tulsa and Tulsa Sports Commission, Ray Hoyt and his team. 
and executive director of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department, Dick Dutton. Please give all of these a special round of applause. I know it's, a, it's an extreme pleasure at this time for me to introduce our leader. Sworn into office in January of 2016, Principal Chief James Floyd has dedicated his 35-year private career to providing meaningful impact on the health of, of, of Native Americans and veterans across the country. As chief, he can now focus directly on improving the lives of the people of our great Muscogee Creek Nation through education, health care, services, and growing the nation's visibility through tourism and business enterprises. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our principal chief of the Muscogee Creek Nation, the Honorable James Floyd. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here this morning. Um, this is a very historic day for the Muscogee Creek Nation and our citizens. And um, so if you take a look around you, you'll see this is also an amazing and colorful crowd here today. And so I want to thank you for joining us here today. Your presence is of great significance to us. And so thank you very much. On behalf of my office and the office of the Second Chief, Lewis Hicks, we sincerely appreciate the dedication of the National Council, um, the, the former chiefs, Fife, Ellis, and Tiger, and the members of the Oversight Committee who is involved in this project from the inception and cre helped create the vision that you see before you today. More than 180 years ago, as a, le a legacy began, when our ancestors first buried the ceremonial ashes of our native grounds from our homeland near the Council Oak Tree here in Tulsa. So we were the people who started the city of Tulsa. The land where we stand today is part of the original treaty lands still held by the Muscogee Creek Nation with title dating back to the 1830s. This land was deeded to the Muscogee Creek Nation because it was thought to be of no value. You couldn't farm it, you couldn't ranch it, you couldn't build on it because half of it was in the river and the rest was sand. However, decades of leadership have held this land as a great asset for our people. We've nurtured it and we've preserved it. Today, we're standing on what can only be described as Ubichka, which is, means a dream. So the glass towers it's, it's of our hotel property, I believe also reflected that vision and the vision of our forefathers to see our people grow and prosper from this location. We are also building a dream facility and one in which our people can take immense pride. When complete, River Spirit Casino Resort and Partners will provide valuable jobs for our citizens and 2,000 others in this region. The return on investment is, di is a dividend not only of great pride, but also much needed funding for programs supporting our citizens and will increase the support the gaming industry directly supplies to the state of Oklahoma for education funding. I want to say my congratulations to Pat Crofts and our executive team at River Spirit, and they've done a tremendous job here. This is a great success story in itself, and that's the reason why we're here today. So please give them a round of applause. I know they're scattered all over this facility. So, for this land that was once cast off by those who did not appreciate the nature and beauty of this river and all that it abundantly provides, the, Mus the Muscogee Creek Nation is eternally grateful. And we, again, want to thank you for your support and, um, and your support in the future. So, thanks for joining us here today. Madhu.